Hi, Adrian here. Today we'll take a look at how to track title so it looks as part of your scene. It works in free version as well, which is pretty cool. Hey, if you're new on my channel, you will learn shooting, editing and color grading here. So tap subscribe and like if you're into it. And let's begin. This effect is done in Fusion. Why are you running? Why are you running? But don't worry, I'll guide you step by step as if you were seeing Fusion for the first time in your life. Oh. So let's say you've got the clip already in the timeline. It's good to have a clip that is steady with not a lot of movement. Drone shot is usually ideal for this kind of effect. Now make sure you have the playhead over the clip and open Fusion page. By default, Fusion page should look the same as mine. You should see the inspector window. If not, click inspector button. There should be also double viewer enabled and below the notes panel. That can be opened by clicking notes button. In the notes panel, I've got also the navigation panel, very handy. If you don't see it, tap V key to enable it. In the notes panel, we've got only two notes. Media out one, that is previewed on the right viewer. You can tell it by the white dot on the right. If I click it, I disable the preview and I can also preview it on the left if I want or do not preview at all, but you might want to preview media out note because this is how the final result looks like. And we've got the media in one note, which represents our clip in the timeline. If I preview it on the left viewer, this is exactly the same as media out one, because we did not build any effect, any composition between media in one and media out one. There is an empty pipeline between them. So for example, if I disconnect my media in one node from media out, you can do it by double clicking the line once it turns into blue color. So once disconnected, the media out preview is empty. It makes sense because the input of the media out node was disconnected. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is to add a background node. Simply drag it from this panel. Let me preview it on the left. So click this white dot or tap one on the keyboard. By default, it's black, but I'm gonna turn it into transparent. So in the inspector, I will set alpha to zero. Next, I will merge over this background my media in one node, which is our clip. To do that, drag the output of the media one node and drop it on the output of the background node. It will automatically create a merge node that we can connect with our media out node. Okay, so what we've done so far is we've merged the clip over the transparent background node. The final result is the same as if we did nothing. That's true but it's a good practice to build your composition over the background node that has the same resolution as your timeline. So to make sure that's the case, select the background node and in the inspector, under image tab, check width and height controls. Okay, so now let's prepare our text. Again, the text plus node can be added from this panel, drag and drop it and preview it on the left. This is the same text plus text as you know from the edit page, so basically customize it to your needs. By the way, I've got a video on how far you can customize the text plus, so check it out if you need. I'll speed it up for you. Okay, so the text node is ready. Now let's select the merge node and open selection tool by tapping shift space. The following window should open. Search for planner tracker and click add. The planner tracker should be connected right after the merge node. In the inspector, all you need to do is to click set button to mark the reference time and with the cursor, select the part of the image you want to track. If you want to place your text here, you need to track this part of the image. If for instance, the text should be stick here, you need to select this mountain. If the text should be here, you would probably need to track this part. So the rule is always try to track the part of the image that in your opinion will move the same way as your text. So let's say we want the text to be in front of this pier. So I'm going to track the pier because I want the text to be moving the same way as the pier. Now in the inspector, change the motion type 
because by default it's perspective and this is also the most resource consuming type of tracking. In most of the cases translation or translation and rotation options are good enough. In this case I had to use translation, rotation and scale because camera was moving forward so we want some kind of 3D effect imitation as well. Next click track to end. Once done Remember to go back to the reference time, so click go button and then track to start. Great. Now click create plana transform button. It will create a plana transform node. Now hold shift key and drag the plana tracker node away. It will disconnect it from our pipeline. We don't need it anymore. Now connect the text node output with the yellow input of the plana transform node and merge the plana transform node over the merge node. So drag the output of the plana transform node and drop it on the output of the merge one node. All you need to do now is to position your text. So select the text node and in the inspector under layout tab position the text. And this is it. The effect is ready. If you like my crash transform transition you can get them from my coffee page. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment to support my channel that really motivate me to create those kind of tutorials. Cheers and see you in the next one.